Thank you, Victoria. Next, we'll have Judah Cannon to present his stuff. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Judah Cannon, um, and I'm going to be presenting on why black baseball players matter. Um, so when researching, we had to write a research question and a thesis statement. Uh, so my research question was, uh, what barriers work against African Americans' progress in their professional baseball journeys transitioning from high school to college? Um, and my thesis statement is, lack of, lack of representation, financial accessibility, and limited funded collegiate opportunities contribute to underrepresentation in Major League Baseball. Um, in 1947, Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier, which allowed black baseball players to play in the MLB. The percentage of black players grew every year through 1968 and peaked in the 1980s and remained steady through the late 1990s. Um, the percentage of black players being in a steady decline uh, in the late 1990s, specifically after 1997. Um, and today, b black players make up only 8% of the MLB, while white players are, make up 78%. Um, so when researching, uh, I came up with three key findings. Uh, the first one is lack of representation. The second one is financial accessibility. And the third one is limited funded collegiate opportunities. Uh, these contribute to the underrepresentation of black players at the collegiate level and in the MLB. Uh, so my first key finding is lack of representation. Um, currently, right now, there are very, uh, there's not a very, there's not a lot of black players in baseball. Uh, most black players play football or basketball. Um, there's not many black coaches or scouts, which, which can cause black players to not get playing time or play key positions. Um, and if a child or if, if a black kid grows up um, with a bad coach or a coach who doesn't support them, it can cause them to end up quitting the sport or not, wanna, not wanting to continue playing the sport. Um, and baseball is also a cultural mismatch. It's not very popular currently right now in the black community, um, at least not as popular as basketball or football. Um, my second key finding is financial accessibility. Um, so to play at the collegiate level, you have to play a, a form of travel ball. And most um, travel ball team fees can cost up to $2,000 to $5,000 per year. Um, not including travel costs, which is hotels, uh, food, and spectator fees. Um, baseball also requires a lot more equipment um, than football and basketball, which uh, costs a lot more. Um, and some additional costs are like athletic training, which includes like strength and conditioning, um, any private lessons that um, a player might take, which can cost up to $60 for like hitting and pitching. Um, also, uh, players who really want to excel at the higher level uh, would, will go to uh, showcase events, uh, which allow a player to be seen by college coaches, MLB coaches, and scouts. Uh, and my last key finding is limited funded collegiate opportunities. Uh, baseball is an, is an equivalency sport, uh, which has some full ride scholarships and partial scholarships. Um, most public college baseball programs are divided, uh, have 11.7 scholarships, uh, five or six of them are full ride scholarships. Full ride covers all costs um, for the student and five to six partial scholarships which can, which can cover part of the cost. Um, and most full scholarships are given to the best and most important players on the team, which most of them are not black in this current uh, day and age. Um, Baseball might be hard um, for um, a black player who doesn't get a full ride scholarship because it requires the family to pay for tuition and for them to play. And so if a black family has been pay paying uh, for all their fees to play travel ball and to go to showcases, uh, it might be hard for them to still have to pay for college as well. Um, so it might be more, um, uh, it might be easier for a black family to play, pay for football uh, college football has around 85 scholarships, um, and basketball has 13. So it is a lot easier to get a scholarship to play football than it is baseball. Um, some additional findings that I had 
was around in the 1990s, the MLB started uh, drafting mostly from college, so it's hard for a player to get drafted straight from high school. Um, this requires black players to go to college, and it's hard for them to do that because of the lack of scholarships. Um, and many historically black colleges and universities, uh, HBCUs, have discontinued the baseball programs uh, due to a lack of revenue, funding, or budgetary issues. Uh, for example, Winston-Salem State and North Carolina Central. Um, in addition, um, baseball players uh, don't directly go straight to the major leagues after they get drafted, unlike basketball and football. They must progress to the minor leagues, single A, double A, and triple A. Um, some possible solutions that I uh, discovered when doing research um, is using social media to promote uh, baseball to the black youth and help them connect with one another. Um, increasing the support of baseball in black communities to help uh, young players connect more with the game. Uh, and foster the development of more black coaches to develop and provide opportunities for black players. Um, and in conclusion, uh, despite the success of black player, baseball players, the number of players has declined steadily over the last 20 years. Uh, most black players either pursue a headcount sport like football and basketball with a significantly, significantly high representation of black players. And football and basketball are also a lot more popular uh, in the black community, which encourages them to play that sport instead of baseball. And then baseball has a very limited number of scholarships um, for them to play at the collegiate level. Thank you. Um, any questions? Yes. Um, no. In the major leagues, actually, the amount of Latino and players from the Dominican Republic have actually been rising. I'm pretty sure they're the second um, largest uh, minority group in the MLB, uh, besides um, white players. Um, unlike the major leagues, minor league pay is very, very low, and most uh, minor league players have to live in poverty um, compared to um, most major league players. Um, do you mean like in the major leagues? Uh, well, it um, kind of depends uh, in the MLB because uh, more recently there have been more sponsorships with um, minority groups, not necessarily a lot of black players, but more Latino and white players. Um, I believe it plays a big role as, especially it's hard for um, inner city kids to really connect to baseball because, I mean, there's not many fields in, like, a deep inner city. Uh, there's probably more basketball courts. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>